Well, hello there. How's everybody doing today? I hope things are going well for you. As for me, hey, no complaints. I am just enjoying some companionship with my beloved corn snake, Houdini. And I've been getting ready. I've been getting ready to go on my trip tomorrow. I'm going to Southern California. I'm going to be there for about two weeks or so. And it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. So, yeah. So, I'm just so then I'm just going to bond with my reptiles. But I know. Reptiles don't bond with people. They don't have feelings. Oh, sure. Keep telling yourself yourself that. But hey, if that's what you want to believe, be my guest. But uh, to the main reason for the video, there's this question I've been reflecting on. It's a question that I receive quite frequently. What do you smell? And it's a question that I think we all get. And it's this. How did you get interested in reptiles? And let me, let me just tell you, that's a very long story. I think it started way back when I was about three years old. I went to the fair and there was some show that going on and some herpetologist, Dan Beck, I, I believe his name. I believe that's what is what who that was. So there was a like snake show there and they brought out all the snakes and I touched at least one of them. I believe it was a ball python. But my interest in reptiles didn't start did not start to progress until I was about ten years old. And that's when uh my fifth grade teacher had a pet iguana. Gora Gora was her name. And she was really sweet. She, she was very friendly and she enjoyed being petted. And the next year I had a teacher, well, a teacher right next door to my sixth grade classroom. The guy had a pet ball python. Just a full grown female ball python, Rochelle was, was her name. And I would just always rush rush to school to just to hold that snake. And usually sometimes there were, were other kids holding it. Or, or holding her. So that was fun and uh and by a year or two later, I just remember uh, when I was about 13 years old, like my dog died and well, it was like a month after like 9-11 happened. And about a few months after that, I'm just like, should I get another dog? And then we got cable and I was, you know, switching through all the channels and uh, where is she? She's still on my head. So I was uh, channel searching and uh, and there was Animal Planet and uh, on that channel was uh, Steve Irwin, the Crocodile Hunter, 
who I believe is what uh, who really sparked my interest in reptiles. And without that guy, I would not have would not have had this silly little snake or my other reptiles. I, I learned so much from that guy. God rest his soul. <laughs> and uh, then I got my first snake when I was about 14 years old, and I believe that was a and uh, that, that was a that was a ribbon snake. I remember very fast, very agile little snake that was. And then I got a corn snake and ball python after that and so on. And until this day, I, I believe I, I still have a lot to learn about these animals, but uh, you know what? Don't we all? Just saying. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And now, I should go. Have a pleasant day. Bye.